one of the big factors of uh, failure in life is to carry too much guilt and too much regret. And since we carry guilt and regret of things that we say, oh, we could have done that way. Nobody can do any other way. Law of karma operates like that. The Indian spirituality believes in four principles. It's good to know what the Indian spiritual. Then I'm not talking of American Indian, I'm talking of the East Indian, okay, the Indian from where I come. They believe, first, that whatever happens had to happen that way. You could not change it. Second, whoever you meet in your life, you are supposed to meet and there is a purpose in meeting that person. There is no chance meeting with anybody and it's all based upon your past actions and they have come either to teach you something, learn something, pay off something, receive something and it's only to settle something that you meet anybody in life. The third is whatever has to start in this life where you say I want to plan this, I want to do this, there is a time fixed for this and only happen at that time neither before nor later. And the fourth principle is the most important one which says what is over is over. Don't hold on to it. Don't hold on to the past. Don't hold, hold on. Oh, I made a mistake. I should not have done it. There was no way. Hindsight can do a lot of things which your real information at that time would not have done. You would have got done exactly the same thing. And then why regret? Why carry guilt with you? Carrying guilt lowers your energy, lowers your power to concentrate. Is an interference in your meditation. So we must learn how to overcome this feeling of guilt and say what's over is over. Fourth principle. So remember the four principles and you'll make better success in your spiritual endeavors. Could you repeat those? First, whatever is to happen will happen that way. Second, whoever you have to meet, you're meeting for a certain reason and not by accident or chance. Third, whatever has to begin at a certain time will begin only at that time, neither before nor after. Fourth, what is over is over. Simple, 